My name is Joseph. Um, my favorite book is Catcher in the Rye. Um, I love to paint. Uh, I would consider myself a, a neo-impressionistic surrealist if I had to define my own personal style. I don't, I don't like being outside too much though. I like being inside my room and just, I, I, I really just put up this big Indian blanket over my room and I just, I sit down and I paint. I really like avant-grade techno. You know, it's, it's not like, like easy to listen to and it's not too pleasant. There's a lot of random noise and screaming going on, but, but it, uh, it really connects with the soul of the artist and the soul of the listener, I think. It's, it's not meant to sound good or, or be popular, so. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is George, I'll be taking care of you today. Can I get you guys started something to drink? Uh, yeah, I'll take the cheapest beer you have. Okay. Yeah, um, I will take a whiskey soda. Double whiskey, easy on the soda, please. <laughs> I really like cheap beer, you know? Such an unusual choice, I think. I like vodka too, but sometimes I feel like vodka is like too middle-aged and like a bit oppressive or whatever. Too proletarian, you know? It's like... Yeah, um, actually I kind of hate vodka just because it makes me super sick and I think it's disgusting. Yeah, I guess. Hey, do you mind if I, like, check you in on this date? Excuse me? You know, like, online? I like, I like my social media have, like, constant step-by-step -step updates on my whereabouts. It's how my mom keeps track of me sometimes, so... Right, um, why precisely should your mother care where you are? Well, you know, because, because I live with her, so... It's a good way to keep her updated on where I am, you know. If I don't come home that night or whatever. She knows I'm not dead, so. I like to check in with like Booty Town sometimes when I'm at a, when I'm at a girl's apartment so she knows not to call me. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. How old did you say you were again? Um, on the date site it said I'm 21, but I'm actually like 29, so. Yeah, wow, um, we're done here. How you doing? My name's Christopher. Never call me Chris. Let me tell you something about myself. I love She Comes First. I think it's the best and most effective way to pleasure a woman successfully and thoroughly. In fact, I'd like to experiment with you sometime. Of course, in the confines of a trusting relationship. Eh? You into that? Call me. Oh my lord, I am so sorry. It's, you know, the one day a year that it's raining out there and you know the city just shuts down because of it. It's like, it's like they can't even fuck. Enough. First of all, you will apologize for being late. Secondly, you will only refer to me as sir. I found by demanding control over a woman deepens the pleasure for her. It helps her lose control of herself. Now, I went and ordered you my favorite drink. It's a vodka on the rocks. Because I require all my conquests to give up the free will. Allow all decision making to me. So, uh... How do I keep you all wet? Nope, I'm out. Hello, uh, my name is Andrew, and I love the joy of cooking. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, I, I, I just think it truly revolutionized the way that Americans look at food. And I, I, I think that if, if we returned to that base and evolved the food programs according to her recipes, I think we could solve the obesity problem in America. Hi. Hi. You must be uh, Andrew? Yes. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, that's me. Um, and, uh, you must be Julia. Yep. <laughs> Your last name isn't Childs, is it? <laughs> oh. Oh. 
totally get it. <laughs> yeah. That's like the book. <laughs> right. Hey. Um, may I take your drink order? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I, I will have the limoncello spritzer with a hint, uh, just truly a suggestion of lager and lime juice, uh, seasoned with uh, cilantro, rosemary, and saffron. And for brunch, I will have five poached eggs, rosemary toast, and the, I suppose the four ounce filet mignon, lightly sauteed, very lightly sauteed in ivu, uh, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, fresh thyme sprigs, if you have them. So, sorry, we actually don't uh, make that here. Is there uh... <sighs> Whatever you have that's similar. salt shaker. I'm trying to get a wintry feeling going on here and I think what it needs is a little light shake coming down to add an interesting bit of sparkle to it. they expect me to eat this when it's cold? What a useless dating. This guy was uh, quite a character. <laughs> I mean, they—they they, uh, they all were. But, uh... Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've—I've uh, I've definitely been your waiter on all three of your oh. dates <laughs> this weekend. Right. Fantastic. More people to bear witness to the most embarrassing weekend of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. It wasn't that bad. Seriously, I get. One time, I went. I uh, dated this girl who. Dye dogs professionally. Wow. Like a like a like a hair fur stylist. Yeah. So she was crazy. Oh, I get it. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, what are you reading right now? Oh, um, the brief wondrous life of Oscar Wilde. It's my favorite. It's your favorite? I I have been so obsessed with this. But I've like I'm obnoxious about it. I forced all of my friends and family to read it. Huh. So I knew it. Uh, do you? Do you want to sit down? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, um, I'm Julia, by the way. I'm, uh, George. I guess you knew that. <laughs> so, George, what time are you off today? Because I'd, I'd kind of like to talk to you about this book and get your opinions about it if, if you're interested. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm, I'm actually off. I've been off for about 10 minutes or so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Harry, and I believe that William Shakespeare's perfect piece concerning the mercurial mortality of man is truly the world's greatest piece of literature. I would love to take you out to discuss it with you. Some of my weaknesses include the fact that I'm not always the greatest at making a decision. Harry, you gotta go! Okay, mother! I get it! Stop reminding me! That was my mother. She's, uh, dating this new guy. I don't... 
I, d I don't like him. He's, uh, he's too, I, I don't know exactly how to describe it. My favorite book is Walden. Uh, I was so inspired by Thoreau's beautiful revelation that I spent an entire year on sabbatical in the mountains. I've never felt so rejuvenated, clean, and pure. Well, I've returned to find a mate, someone with a similar mindset, someone to, to help me repopulate the earth, one beautiful child at a time. Someone to help me bring back that kind of purity that we used to have before everything fell through and it was polluted and dirty and corrupt and ugly. Will you be the one to join me in my cabin on the edge of the wilderness? I think you 